Today, we're going to be learning all about Boxville. We're going to be in section 314.16, and we have two primary tables that we're going to be using. The first one that we're going to cover is 314.16a. Let's get to it. On the left-hand side is going to be our box size in inches. The next column over is going to be the type of box, and there are several different types of boxes. The first one is going to be the round octagonal box. A round box is truly circular, and the picture listed here is actually an octagonal box. I want to give a shout out to HomeDepot.com. It's where I snagged all these pictures. The next three lines you'll notice say square, and these boxes are true four square boxes. They're four by four by whatever the depth is. And if you look back over here to your dimensions where the box size in inches is listed, this box states that it's a four by four by whatever the depth is. There are three different depths. The next three lines you'll notice say square as well, but its dimensions are a little bit different. It says four and 11 sixteenths by four and 11 sixteenths by whatever the depth is. Down below there, start your device boxes in all different shapes and sizes. Finally, we come to our masonry boxes. Listed below there, you're going to see different type of raised covers, which also give you a little bit more cubic inch volume inside of your box. The next column that we need to pay attention to is this middle one right here. Now, in the NEC, it actually says a minimum volume, which is kind of deceptive to the installer because it's actually your maximum volume that you're allowed to fill that box. And it's listed in cubic inches. That's all we're concerned with. We're not concerned with any metric designators inside of this table. We want to be dealing with cubic inches. And the reason it's cubic inches is because we have three different measurements. We have four by four by whatever the depth is. In this column, you're going to find the maximum that you're allowed to fill each box. Then when we come over here to the far right of the table, it's one of my favorite pieces. It's actually like a cheat sheet. If all of your wires are of the same size, you can use this part of the table and make it very simple on yourself. First thing you'll do is you'll come over and find your gauge of wire. Then you'll come over here and find your type of box and then come over and tee off with how many wires can fit inside of that box. It's very simple. Now let's look at the second table that we're going to be dealing with for box fill. And it's right below there. It's 314.16B. And this one's very simple to understand. On the left-hand side is our conductor size, and on the far right-hand side is going to be our cubic inch volume. Every box can only handle so many wires and devices, and that's what we're going to learn in this lesson here today. Each box has so many cubic inches that you can fill, and each conductor and device takes up so many cubic inches of that box. Now, let's do some practice questions and get to it.